Hey, I'm Emily with the Wix Collective and today's short and sweet video is just answering the question, help, why can I not preview my course? <laughs> and this is a part of the series, the Wix Online Courses series that I'm releasing here on YouTube. We're covering everything from building your course to marketing your course, creating sales pages and all that fun stuff. So stay tuned for all of that info. Here is just the quick and easy answer to your question. You cannot preview your course until you publish it. I hate that. I really, really do. And I have it on my list of things to talk about next time I chat with my Wix partner about like things that I think that should be different. <laughs> I don't know if it helps, but it's definitely something that I think needs to happen because there's just a lot of workarounds you have to do behind the scenes, which is what I'm going to show you today. But you have to do all those workarounds in order to not have your course show up. So I think it's very important to know how to do those things. One, so that you can utilize Wix, but two, so that you don't have people signing up for an unfinished course or seeing your unfinished course going on behind the scenes. Okay, let's get started. All right, so here we have our course. And what we're going to do is we want to make sure that we have a few things completely perfect before we preview. So I have on my editor, go back to the editor. And what we want to do is, oh, I'm in preview mode right now. We want to make sure that we have no access to this course page. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your pages menu, manage pages, and then site menu and make sure, double check, triple check, that this course library is hidden from your menu. I also want you to go to the mobile and I want you to click on your menu. This has not been formatted for mobile yet, so please excuse the mess. I'm going to make sure that it's hidden on mobile as well, just in case we don't want anybody to get to this course while we're previewing it, okay? So if that is good to go, click publish and then hop back into your dashboard. Now you can go over to these three dots, more actions, edit settings. And here you want to go over to visibility and pricing. So here on your site, we've got public. Anyone can view and join the program. Private requires anyone to view, but they have to have, um, I'm sorry, anyone can view, but it requires approval to join. And then secret means only visible to participants you invite. So when it's public, it's like, hey, for $49, you can get in my course. They pay you instantly added to the course. For private, it's like, hey, $49 for my course. And then when they want to sign up, you get an email and you have to manually approve them as a member of the course. And then secret would be like, so on, in my case, I have like a bunch of courses that I've like started, but I haven't launched. And so I just add them as secret. So nobody else can see them except for me and people that I invite. So you could do secret or private or public. You could preview in all of these different settings as long as you have that page hidden on your menu like we just did, you should be safe, okay? Um, if you've already launched some courses, you're gonna wanna make this one secret, okay? So you don't want it to show up in your course list. So then hit save. I'm gonna go ahead and just click private. All right, go back to your course settings. Now, if your preview button is grayed out, that means that you need to go into your editor and just click publish, okay? Because you've made some very important changes to your program settings that need to be published before you can preview. So when I click preview, I can see what this looks like as a visitor view. So this is what it's going to look like. Now, when I go to participant view, there is a chance. Okay, yeah, I can see this here. So I've got photo editing 101. I really don't love previewing inside the dashboard, inside the program builder, because it's so small and just like, it's just unrealistic to me. So I like to go to the editor and I like to go to course library or course overview page and click preview. Now, again, it's not going to show you um, if you, especially if you have multiple courses, you can't choose which course you're going to see, but you can at least see what this page looks like, okay? If you want to see the individual's 
like if you have multiple courses and you wanna see something really specific, you're gonna to have to use this preview button. But here you can just see, you can preview here. Okay, so I hope that was helpful to you. I know it was just kind of short and sweet and really a focused video of a specific problem, but that's how a lot of my course videos here are in this little like mini course I'm launching on, Zo on Zoom, what am I saying, on YouTube. Um, because I want you to be able to pick and choose what videos you're having struggles with, search for the issues that you are needing resolution to, and I know that I'm not gonna be able to answer every single question and you can sure leave a comment below, but just know that sometimes it's hard to give a really good answer without being able to see your screen. So for that reason, I am offering obviously some online consulting. So if you want to go ahead and book a call with me, I have a few on the calendar right now. Unfortunately, my schedule as far as consulting is just really like hit or miss. So I'm also wanting to possibly start like a Wix online support group. Would you be interested in that? If so, let me know because I'm just kind of like toying with the idea right now. I don't have any kind of like commitment to get it started. I just want to know if it would be helpful to you and what you're looking for. So please, if you're interested in the description below, I've got a link for a wait list. Select that and then let me know what you're looking for. Just shoot me an email and I'll let you know if I ever launch anything or anything similar, okay? So again, I hope that's helpful and yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next video.